Hi everyone and welcome to this series on Tesla Concept Vehicles, where I look into the potential total addressable market for some of the most interesting concept designs and whether it would actually be feasible for Tesla to enter these segments and take market share. Elon Musk and Tesla are known to make crazy fun equipment and vehicles, like the Boring Company's Flamethrower and the Tesla Cyberquad, so you never know if any of these concepts are completely out of the question. If you want to follow this series, hit the subscribe button down below to see all the weird and wonderful concepts coming up. In this video, we're looking into the potential Tesla bus. The global bus total addressable market in 2020 was expected to reach a total revenue of approximately 10 billion US dollars and is expected to grow at an annual compound growth rate of 19% to a projected market value of 24 billion by 2025. China showing the most revenue by country at almost $2 billion isn't really a surprise as China's population is growing very fast and its citizens will need more public transport as the nation grows and becomes more urbanised. Electric buses around the world will reduce demand for diesel by 270,000 barrels annually, which is three times the displacement of all electric passenger vehicles in the world, a market where Tesla has a share of about 12%. The outcome of a Bloomberg New Energy report from 2019 created a stir and put the spotlight on the fact that the transition to electric vehicles in this early phase is driven by buses. In recent years, news has often been circulating with regards to a possibility that Tesla might begin to manufacture their own electric bus, or to cooperate with other companies in the market of zero emission buses. As electric vehicles become more affordable and improved battery technology delivers longer range and shorter refueling times, it is expected to see an increase in electric vehicles on roads globally. These vehicles are cheaper, cleaner and quieter to run, bringing significant economic and environmental benefits. More than 400,000 electric buses circulate in China, 98% of the electric buses in circulation in the world. About 80% of the buses sold each year in the Chinese market are electric. Not to forget that electric vehicles with buses included account for about 0.3% of current global oil consumption, according to Bloomberg NEF figures and data from the International Energy Agency. Tesla could potentially modify a Tesla Semi to construct a bus, where instead of a trailer carrying goods, could be turned into a bus layout with seating along the length of the vehicle. The centre driving position of the Semi would need to be moved over to allow users to climb into the bus. With the proven tech in the Tesla Semi, this could be transferred to a bus layout, and who knows, it could even be made fully autonomous like they plan on doing with the Semi itself. However, there is one key factor that keeps telling me Tesla buses would never actually take off and would never be part of Tesla's plan, and that is the robo-taxi network. If the entire Tesla fleet of vehicles, whether owned and operated solely by Tesla or using owners' cars to conveniently take people wherever they want, whenever they want, at the click of a button on their smartphone, it makes buses completely irrelevant because buses typically have a set route and time to pick passengers up, which can be viewed as inconvenient. Whereas with the robo-taxi network, you can be picked up whenever you want at the time you want. Back in May 2017, Tesla CEO Elon Musk also expressed the same doubts I have regarding developing an electric Tesla bus. In response to a question about the Tesla bus project, Elon Musk stated, I don't know if the bus thing really makes sense in a shared and completely autonomous environment. If it costs less than a bus ticket to use a shared autonomy fleet to go wherever you want, point to point, why don't you just use that? Musk then added that according to him, traffic and urban density can be completely lightened with tunnels, referring to the Boring Company's project focused on the creation of a system of underground tunnels to reduce congestion. The Boring Company has already stated its plans to use Tesla vehicles inside their system of tunnels to transport passengers at high speed between stations. However, the company keeps using images of higher passenger density vehicles similar to buses and renders for their projects, leading some to believe that Tesla is building a new vehicle for the project. When asked if they still had plans for a higher passenger density vehicle in a follow-up tweet, Musk answered, we will make a dense Tesla if it matters, in a comment that he quickly deleted, which raised further question marks. Electric bus adoption in public transport urban fleets is growing all over the world. It started in China and it has taken a few years for other regions to start the transition. But now Europe is booming. The year 2019 will be remembered as the year when the electric bus sale volume started ramping up. While in 2018, the European electric bus market increased 48% compared to 2017. 
in 2019 saw a tripling in the number of electric bus registrations in Western Europe. And a first insight from the year 2020, focused on the first three quarters, gives the following results. Slightly over 2,000 battery electric buses registered in Western European countries, with the addition of Poland. In Europe, there are approximately 4,000 electric buses running, including not only battery electric buses, but also plug-in hybrids, trolley bus and fuel cell buses. A small part of the global circulation of 400,000 units of these buses. Roughly 98% of the electric buses in the world are deployed in Chinese cities. At the end of 2019 in Europe, the share of electric buses on the sales volumes of city buses should overcome the 10% mark. According to UITP, it is going to rise up to 20% in 2020. But if we look at the wider European bus market, including Class 2 and Class 3 vehicles, according to ACEA, in 2019, 4% of registered buses were electrically powered. India, with 70,000 buses sold in 2017, is a market with big potential, even with a small part of the orders being electric. By 2025, the research company Interact Analysis forecasts that India will account for more than 10% of the total annual demand for electric buses globally which is more than Europe and North America combined. In the United States, market penetration was about 0.5% of the total US public transit bus market at the end of 2017. But at the same time, 9% of all transit agencies either had electric buses in service or on order. According to Bloomberg NEF figures, at the end of 2019 in the US, around 400 of the nearly 75,000 municipal buses on the road were e-buses. When it comes to electric buses, Chinese figures are massive. The electric buses in cities report by Bloomberg, published in spring 2018, tells about this wide-ranging revolution. In 2016, China was able to register 340 electric city buses every single day. In the same year, 2016, Europe put about 70 buses on the road each day, regardless of the category and the kind of fuel. In this change toward electric buses adoption, Europe and the United States are still lagging behind massively. The largest electric bus order so far has been signed in December 2020 and sees Yutong as the industry supplier. The Chinese brand has received a record order for as many as 1,000 buses, with 741 of them being electric, making it the largest order of EV buses ever. If you're enjoying this style of video, feel free to give it a like to let me know and subscribe for more. Now in Europe at the end of 2018, the largest fleet of electric buses was one operated by Connexion around Schiphol Airport where VDL Bus & Coach supplied 100 electric buses. The order of electric buses is still the largest single order for VDL, and with 100 electric buses it is the largest electric fleet with a single operation in Europe. These e-buses collectively cover up to 30,000 kilometres per day. These batteries are charged in 20 minutes or less at charging points along the route, allowing 24-hour service. Other reports suggest that the global bus market is projected to reach 69 billion US dollars by 2025, on the back of rising demand for transportation from growing populations, especially in urban areas across the globe. Major factors responsible for the rising sales of buses include improvements in infrastructure in various large developing countries and increasing populations. The global bus market is segmented based on application, bus length, seating capacity, fuel type, build type and region. Based on build type, the market can be bifurcated into fully built and customised, of which the latter is expected to grow at a faster pace as a rising number of customers are preferring such vehicles. Major players operating in the global bus market include Volvo, Tata Motors, Isuzu, MAN, Daimler and others. Most of the companies are developing buses with new advanced technologies and alternate fuel technologies such as electric in order to stay strong in the global bus market. Many companies are also making huge investments in R&D, whilst also entering joint ventures with other companies in order to expand their presence in the global market. So whilst there does seem to be quite a large bus market for Tesla to enter, their focus is still better off producing their cars and growing their energy business, as there is still high demand for their products, and they have always been constrained supplying their products to customers fast enough. So taking on a new product and potential factory to build it doesn't seem to be the logical move at present, but these concepts allow us to ponder the possibilities. Let me know in the comments what you think of a potential Tesla bus and whether it could take many full market share in the global public transport sector. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more stock market investing and interesting business news. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.